Hello everyone, Rorius here, back with Crash Bandicoot 3 from the Insane Trilogy. Now, we finished the first warp room last time, and now we're up to the second warp room. I'll probably do my best to finish a warp room uh, an episode, or a warp room, yeah, warp room an episode, yeah. That makes sense, right? <laughs> um, yeah, let's get straight into this. Gee whiz. <laughs> yes, this is the... Why? Why must you continue to be a fool? Who? What? Where was I? Oh, Tiny was a good fellow. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. <laughs> yeah, so gee whiz, oh, a nitro switch box destroys all of the nitros at once, yeah. Uh, this level is the first of the sort of the later, or there's like three, I think there's three medieval levels, each with its own sort of theme. So it starts, the first, very first level is the first medieval level. And then this one's like the middleman one, that's sort of halfway between the other two. <laughs> of course. Yeah, so that's the first use, proper use of the new belly slam, or belly flop, or body slam, or whatever special ability we got. Yeah, you get these guys, these wizards. And this. Oh, they don't do the... Ah, oh, they removed the, like, no clothes, underpants version of him. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, you'd spin him and you'd... He'd lose all his... He'd lose his robe, but he'd still be able to attack you. He'd just sort of, like, be like, what the... And then, uh... You'd hit him again and then he'd die. I don't know why I risk... Oh! I tried skid jumping, but I must have hit the circle a bit too late. Ooh. I should really use the skid jump more often. He says after immediately die, dying, try to use it. Yeah. These levels are very simple, comparatively speaking. I actually, that's why I love them so much. They're just like classic Crash Bandicoot levels. Not annoying in any particular way. And you can spin these as well if you want. Ooh. Yeah, they just made him disappear. It's a bit sad. <laughs> I guess no clothing on characters in a, in a kid's game, I guess is probably, you know, not exactly the best idea. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was close. I was being stupid. Oh, I lost the mask before because I died. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, didn't I already have a mask? Oh. <laughs> no, don't be stupid, Rory. I like that they included the chickens, though. They kept the chickens in. I don't know why I like that. It's just, <laughs> feels... And the birds. They look almost identical. Because you see them so, uh, briefly, you know, so fleetingly. That, um... You can't really tell the difference. Come on. Okay. Oh god. I did the stupid. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Please tell me I didn't. Oh, there we are. Okay, I was like, please tell me I don't intend to screw that up. I don't remember the bonuses from this game very well. I remember the ones from the other games better. Yay! 18 out of 18. I would say that the gems are probably a little easier to get in this game than in some other games. Finally. <laughs> Yeah, I think, although I will have to say that the part of it will be because this game was the first game to actually allow you to see how many boxes there are on a level, but it's also because they made the boxes just easier to get, <laughs> generally speaking. There's way less, like, super secret boxes that are hidden behind special secrets. <laughs> 
Funny thing, I never actually realized that this like warp room place was called the Time Twister. That is something that I've learned having played this, despite the fact that I've played the original probably like 10, 15 times total, like right through <laughs> total. It might be more than that. I'm just making a making a guess, a guess as to that number. Okay, so here's the first. I was going to say the first. Actually, it's probably not the first, is it? It takes ages to switch levels. Um, one of the first levels where you can't get this gem until way later. The yellow gem. I think it's just the yellow gem. The yellow gem is the only one that's missing. Hang 'em ha. <laughs> uh, discover and finish the secret route for a special gem. Yeah. So you have to find the secret route, which is found in a in a bonus level in a secret level um it's not like you can find you can't find the secret in this level it's in some another level um that was weird oh man i just remember doing the time trials for these levels i think what this was one of the levels that i struggled so hard to get the time trial on or at least it was one of the arab levels Don't panic, Rory. It's I'm not doing the time trials, at least not yet. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that's what I would say is that, as I said with the previous level, um, getting just the straight, like the standard gem, just getting the the normal stuff in this game is way easier. Like, just finishing the levels, getting the crystals, getting the gems, the normal gems, generally, so much easier. What's difficult is the, um... What is really difficult is the... Uh... <laughs> no, I'm so focused. Uh, is the time trial stuff. Time trials were what made this game hard. And so the fact that there's time trials in the other games as well now, that just sucks. Because they were already hard, you know. They were already hard without time trials. <laughs> Makes this game really easy, comparatively. <laughs> okay, please, no. <laughs> just like, stop! <laughs> I hate those type of boxes, and when they're involved with stuff where you have to... Yeah, I, that sucked. Oh, thank freaking hell for that. There we go. Wait, go like that, and then... Just wanna check... Okay, there isn't a box up higher. 20, 20, yep, sweet. Phew. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm gonna miss stuff. Oh, it's so weird that you, uh, <laughs> I just, never mind, I won't, never mind. Okay. See, so yeah, these, other than, now that I, yeah, now that I think about it, other than the, this, like, the time trial stuff, and I don't know if I, oh, I don't know if I, if there's really that much to say about this level. <laughs> Oh, there's the yellow gem right there, you can see it. That's actually really cool. I don't remember being able to see it previously. Were you able to see it in the first in the original game? I don't remember being able to see it. That's really weird. Sweet, okay. I was right originally when I said you just you can get the gem, all good. It's the yellow gem that you have to, that'll take ages to get. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not bothering with the time trials just yet. Because you may as well not bother until you get the speed shoes from Cortex. Hog Ride. This is one of those, like, bonus-y style levels. Hog Ride. Win first place in order to earn the power crystal. So these are the levels that are actually way harder to get the crystal, because you don't just get them for finishing the level. You have to come first. Which can be tricky. Okay, accelerate R2, break power L2. Oh, no. 
You know what? Nope, I'm gonna restart. Oh, you can't even just restart? Ah. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna have to do my best. Do I get the gym or the crystal first? That's a question I always ask myself. I think I'll go for the crystal first, so I won't bother with the, the boxes. I'm purposely missing that one just to make myself <laughs> go for the crystal first. Yeah. These levels were frustratingly difficult, or the later levels of this were frustratingly difficult. Not actually to- actually to get the- to get the gem was actually the easier part, the, getting the crystal was the harder part. Oh. Okay, they've actually altered that. Oh man, if you hit the edges of the cars now. Ah, oh, you used to just sort of brush past them? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, see? Oh, that really sucks. <laughs> okay, no, you can't restart. That's so frustrating. <sighs> yes. At least I added it there. <laughs> Can you not do the boost at the start anymore? Or am I just doing it wrong? Yeah, no, I'm not going for the gem, I'm going for the crystal. I must come first. Ooh, that's, that's really interesting, they've changed the way you interact with the other cars. Ooh, phew. You don't bump as much on these guys, but you bump more on the police officers. Okay. And they changed the control to being R2 to accelerate, which is interesting. Oh, what the freaking hell. If that means I fail, I'm gonna be so bad. Come on, oh. Nope. Damn it, you can't just restart. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, oh, God. Doesn't give you the same kind of, like, guide as to... It's not as, as visually noticeable that you're doing the right thing. It's alright, it's okay. Ooh, there we go. You just gotta take the corners. Like, whenever there's a corner, you could you can go. Whenever there's a corner, you can cut, cut it. <laughs> Basically, like that, like this. Oh, there we go. That's how you win. No, no, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sense myself. God damn it. It's all good though. We've won, unless something really bad happens. No, okay, we're fine. Damn right. Hell yeah. Okay, now it's gonna kick me to the freaking walk room, but I wanna get the gem now. Yeah, these are one of those levels where you basically... If you try and get the gem... Come on. You try and get the gem... At the same time as the crystal. G'day, mate. Dingle Dial's the name. And Dingle Dial? And Uka and Cortex gave Dingle. me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. <laughs> um, sounded like you said Dingle Dial. And I was like, what? It's just, they were giving him an Australian accent, so they are trying to say Dinga Dial. Dinga. Dingo. But the Australians say dingo. They're cliche Australians. There we go. Okay, now we don't want to rush this time. And we don't want to grab that. We want all the boxes. So we could go real slow, which is something I sometimes do. Just like, go obscenely slow. So that everyone's miles ahead of me. That way, I'm not distracted. Dingo dial. Yeah. Bang. Probably just gonna skip most of this. Oh, I already have all the boxes. Oh man, I could have won this race as well. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have won it. That would have infuriate, infuriated me. But like, I did really well for just like avoiding all of the speedy stuff. Yeah. Now he does his dance. <laughs> no. Level 9, Tomb Time. 
I don't remember how you get this gem now. I'll have to check. Because there's a few different uh, pyramid levels. Unlock a new path by earning the purple gem elsewhere. Okay, it's purple gem one. All good, I can't get it yet. Unfortunately, I also think I can't get the normal gem. I think this is one of those ones where you have to get both, basically, at the same time. Oh. Right there is your not being able to judge distances thing. That's plagues 3D platformers. Alrighty. These are some of the cool but frustrating levels. Um, ah, this. The oil. I forgot about the oil. I forgot you don't need to hold the button down. I like realized that as I was getting off the button, I was like, why did I stand on that until the door opened? That was dumb. Hoping I could still get through in time. <laughs> there we go. Now we just go straight through. <laughs> Sometimes I'm such an idiot. Okay. Yeah, and these floor pl panels, they say Neo. Cool. Alrighty. So, yeah, these, these pyramid levels are some of my favorite, but also some of my most hated. Like, the there's a water pyramid level in the fourth warp room. Oh my god, I hate it so much. When I was trying to get the, um... Last time I played the original, I can't remember what I was doing now. I, I was trying to get a bonus, or I was trying to get little boxes. I don't remember what I was doing now. I just I failed over and over again. I was I got so angry at it, like old school, throwing my PlayStation controller, crying about it, angry. <laughs> ah, the good old days. <laughs> Yeah, for any of you who weren't around during the PlayStation 1 era, or, you know, if you didn't have PlayStation, then, like, the Nintendo 64 era, like, the... I think, actually, I don't know... I don't really know much about Nintendo games, because I never had a Nintendo as a kid. So, oh, actually, the little... the funny thing you can do. <laughs> I believe they have ten Wumpa Fruit, do they? No, come in. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, I don't really know if Nintendo 64 games were particularly frustrating, but... Oh, they kept that in. That's cool. <laughs> um, but there were a bunch of PS1 games that were just so difficult. I guess, yeah, if you are if you're around during anywhere during before the end of the 1990s, played any of those consoles, a lot of games were really frustrating. Frustratingly difficult. Especially old arcade games, they were like super frustrating. PlayStation 1 was nothing in comparison. Ooh, okay. Just grabbing that. I'm gonna see if I can go. No, nope, I can't go over that. Shit. Ah, oh, I sacrificed a mask to get a mask. And now I'm gonna have to go back to get this mask to make up for it. I'm an idiot. At least I don't have to finish the whole level without dying. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Uh. <laughs> There's a lot of time stuff in these levels. That's why it's some of the most frustrating levels. But the the design is really cool in this one. It's made it look made it look a lot more um like really noble and glorious looking. The original looks much more like a tomb, like you know the sort of I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, here's some annoying boxes to get. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I, ha I can get the, the box gem yet, so I'm really just risking... Ah! Oh my god, there's so much harm to get from this. One... There we go, finally, Jesus. Because they speed up as they move along. They didn't used to do that. At least I don't think they did. They just moved at a really... they moved at a faster pace than others. Um... What are my chances? I, yeah, I have a feeling I couldn't, I, I shouldn't have bothered to try and get those boxes. Pretty sure I can't get the box gem. Yep, no nitro box. Yeah, damn it. 
So yeah, I'll have to come back later. Once I have the purple gem. Yeah. Was that nine? That was nine. What's ten? I don't remember what ten is. Oh, midnight run. That's all good. <laughs> I'll let Coco do her dance this time, if I manage to get the gym, that is. Because I think they only dance if they get the gym. Now, what is my success going to be like with this level? Is it going to be like the last time? I'm not going to run at all. Because I don't want to have a repeat of last time. Okay, back to D-pad, I think. Okay, I said not at all. I lied. Ooh. The thing with um the run is it says yeah, dodge certain hazards. Oh, I jumped over it. Kill me. <laughs> um, it's really subjective. It's basically just the boxes, the barrels. The barrels are like the only thing you can actually dodge. Up here. Ah, oh, I missed one. God dang it. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can just get them. Oh, what the freaking hell? Okay, nope, that jumps straight over them. How the hell am I supposed to get them? Okay, this was way simpler in the original game. Let's try this time. Let's just try jumping. Okay, there we go. I got it. Frickin' finally. Can't say I particularly enjoy the new control, the new way these levels play. These levels are some of the funnest levels in the original. They're just infuriating in this one. <laughs> Seems like, seems somehow inconsistent. Aspects, aspects of the level feel inconsistent. Um, unlike the original, which just felt really good, really natural. Like the, the way the enemies move as well. Like when you would sprint in the original, it wouldn't feel like. I still got the gym, <laughs> the crystal. I mean, <laughs> lol. When you would sprint in the original game, it kind of was almost like the enemies moved faster during that period. Not 100% like the same, oh, not 100% like the same speed as you, like it didn't increase to match your speed. But like, things increased in speed to, a, to an extent that um, they didn't fall too far behind you. Why keep doing that? Like those guys, those guys are so close together when you sprint at them. In the original, you know, they would be further apart so that, oh my god, so you could actually get, still get past them even if you sprint. Okay, I had to sprint past that one because it kept, <laughs> kept not working. Oh, it's so disappointing. <laughs> the, oh, I have to go back and play the original so just to get the fun out of this level at the end. Yeah, because the, the feeling of being able to like sprint through the whole level is so exhilarating. The fact that it feels so horrible in this game is really disappointing. So yeah, yeah, I got the gem. <laughs> I didn't let her do a dance last time, so I let her do it this time. Alrighty. Yeah, only Crash can do this level. Um, there's a bunch of levels that only Crash can do, and a bunch of levels only Coco can do. So. Right, now you've gone and done it. <laughs> Them crystals are mine. Hint: His flamethrower damages more than he intends it to. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, boss, Dingo Dial. This is a cool, <laughs> fairly cool boss. Break out the butter. Oh, you can skip the intro. Huh. 
I mean, I guess he probably could originally as well. Is he gonna keep doing it? Dude. <laughs> I'm like... Oh, what the... Oh, that was close. <laughs> I like this boss. This is a cool boss. I like it a lot. Yeah, if you just run around like this. And I think if you go like that, you can actually leap over the top of them as well. He just doesn't shoot half the time. <laughs> Duck! <laughs> If you're really clever, you can like leap over the top of the crystals. Actually, I don't know if that works at all in this game, in this version. He like tries to predict where you're gonna be, but then like it leads. If you run back and forth, it leads to him just like not shooting. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Penta's revenge. Yeah, <laughs> Penta Penguin. You can just like. <laughs> yeah, double jump. Press jump. Uh, to jump twice as high, press X button to jump, then press X button again to, at the top of your jump. Yeah. Yeah, what I found out last time was that, um. Man, that makes the camera move weirdly. Um. The. Last time I couldn't read the belly flop power fast enough because I was actually standing right where the, the end of the level spawns so it wasn't the that it didn't give me enough time to read it it's just that I happened to be standing right where it spawns <laughs> yeah cool finish this warp room yeah that's better now that the camera's not focusing on me quite so intensely the double jump doesn't feel quite so um, intrusive I'll say that I will return to this every time to see if it, it'll launch me back up again. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll get to the next warp room in the next episode. We'll leave this here. Yeah, unfortunately, unless I do time trials right now, um, I can't actually unlock any of the specials, uh, special paths yet, so we're gonna have to leave that for a later episode. <laughs> there are a couple of things I can find fairly soon, I think. Fairly soon. Yeah, actually one of them is in this next area, um, and it will lead to one of two super secrets. It might be both of them actually, I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> we've finished the first two warp rooms. I will just quickly save it. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, that will be it for today. I still really enjoy myself playing these games, but it, I, it, what it really makes me want to do is go back and actually play the originals again, even though I've recently played the originals. Because <laughs> the originals, the controls are just really a lot tighter than they are in this version. The, this version feels a lot driftier. And that's the only way I can describe it, because it just... Things don't land quite as the same. Things, the, the hitboxes and stuff are slightly different. Nevertheless, I won't linger. <laughs> if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, 